of, of Kevin. Thank thee for all who are here and pray for their safety as, as we journey and safety in these times. With what is going on as we, which limits our gathering together. And this we say in, with gratitude in our hearts, in the name of our Savior Jesus Christ, amen. Kevin Lynn Cooper was born February 25th, 1965 to Earl Watts and Ann Elizabeth Peabody Cooper in Blackfoot, Idaho. He went to be the Lord's landscaper September 5th, 2020. Kevin grew up in Moreland, Idaho, the sixth of six children. He attended schools in Moreland and graduated from Snake River High School, class of 1983. In 1989, he married Carrie Linder and became an instant doting father to Josh, and in 1990, Casey arrived. He was a good father who always took care of his children and did the best he could to teach and guide them. He started his landscaping journey in 1985 at Kimberly Nurseries in Twin Falls and ventured out on his own in 1999. He was an entrepreneur, an inventor, and a dreamer. He created beautiful works of art and brought, that brought peace and serenity to many. He was a strong man, a fierce worker, and a visionary above all. He recently started a new business, lighting his unique landscapes and, that truly enhanced and enriched their environment. A truly gifted, talented man with the biggest heart and a great sense of humor. He was more than kind, overly caring, and would not, give, and would not think twice to give the shirt off of his back. Coop loved meaningful music, good scotch, a fine cigar, but most of all, he loved his family and friends. We will miss his tenacious smile and his big bear hugs. He's survived by his wife, Carrie, sons Josh Coronado and Casey and Tawny Cooper, grandson Liam Cooper, grand, great, or granddaughter <laughs> River expected to arrive in October, siblings Linda and Ray Packer of Idaho Falls, Bill and Judy Cooper of Nampa, Gloria and Carol Perks of Idaho Falls, Debbie Cooper of Haley, and brother-in-law Tim Adams of Riverside, Idaho, along with many numerous nieces and nephews. He was preceded in death by his parents, his sister Kathy Adams, and a nephew Chris Watson. The world lost a beautiful soul with Kevin's passing, but he lives on in our hearts of those who knew him, his love and light, look over us all. We're going to open it up for a time of sharing. If you want to come up, um, we would love to hear a story or a few things. You first, young man. Yep. This is my husband, Rodney. I'm not making any promises I'm going to get through this. So be easy, it's my first time. <laughs> Cooper was like my Doc Brown, and I was his little chubby Michael J. Fox. <laughs> we used to come every morning for a little exercise at the cemetery, and we'd walk through the cemetery, and he would tell me how nice the water looked in the background, and so we have that going today. But we'd come down to the shop, He'd meet me, he was always here first. We'd get out, we'd walk straight over to the ground round and have breakfast. <laughs> Every single morning, and we did that for, for quite a while. Um, everyone knows that Cooper would walk into a room and put a smile on everyone's face. He was good at that. Either by owning the room or just one of his great one-liners. But that was different, it, or what was different about Cooper is after he would own the room, he would find that one person that he hadn't connected with, that one person he didn't make happy, and then he would invest in that person. And I'm very lucky because I think I was one of those people. And 
I gained a friend for life, and I will miss him dearly. If Coop was here, other than he would say, love big, listen to those that are close, and be there for folks. I haven't had a lot of people there in my life growing up, and he was there for me. And you can't replace that. So, thanks. All right, just uh, wanted to say thank you guys for all coming out and uh, uh, just being here. And uh, I didn't, I was kind of thinking uh, what I was going to say today uh, all week, and I figured I was just going to wing it, but I, uh, I don't want to take this, make this take an hour, so I figured I'd just share a little story. So. My, my dad was the kindest, most loving man I've ever known. He was strong, incredibly intelligent, and if you needed a good laugh, he was your guy. He was a great father and always taught me valuable life lessons. And whenever we were working or just, you know, doing everyday stuff and there was something that I couldn't figure out, and uh, dad was always there to fall back on when I needed his help. And, uh, <laughs> He would always say afterwards, what would you do if I wasn't there? <laughs> and, you know, every time I, I just shrugged it off and said back to him, yeah, I'm not worried, you're always going to be there. <sighs> Truth is, I don't know what to do without you here. Uh, I'd like for you to know, Dad, that uh, uh, I was able to fix that hydraulic line on the pipe puller. So, uh, you know, it was a major pain in the butt and took me all day and covered in hydraulic oil when I was done, but I got it. And I just I had the strangest feeling the entire time I was trying to fix it. And, uh, you know, every time I got mad or thought for a second that I couldn't do it, uh, you know, I just get this burst of energy and my emotions and thoughts would disappear. Uh, and I just realized after a while that uh, it was, it was you telling me to keep going and, you know, telling me that I could do it. So, and I know you might not be here in person anymore, but uh, it's nice to know that, you know, you're always going to be there in spirit with us and help, help all of us push forward and move in the right direction. And I think that's, you know, the best thing ever. So thank you. Uh, love you, Dad. in groups of people, so if I take too long, Courtney, just turn the music on, kick me off. Uh, first and foremost, I'd just like to thank you all for being here today uh, for our family during this unexpected time to pay t tribute and lay this amazing man to rest. You know, he, he played a huge part in all of our lives, and he touched so many of us in different ways. If you were really lucky, he touched you physically, too, with his big bear hugs and his funny jokes. But in all honesty, not only was Kev a loving husband and father, he was a ray of sunshine for all of us. He could brighten up anyone's day, even when they were having their darkest day. 
he was not just an uncle to me. He was so much more. He was the greatest role model and even a father figure. If it wasn't for Kev, I wouldn't be the man I am today. Actually, I wouldn't be here at all. If it wasn't for him dragging my mom down to the car lot one day, she would have never been upsold by the best car salesman out there. And here I am today. <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> uh, you know, Kev gave me my first job. He taught me what work ethic really is. He's the reason I'm never late to anything. And it only took one time coming back to the job late from lunch with Casey. Uh, the look on his face and the butt chewing we got, I'll never forget. And I can never be late anywhere. He was, he was a man I never wanted to disappoint or let down. He was always all, so proud of all of us in our family, no matter what each of us cousins or uh, any of us were doing, he was always so proud of us. He always made sure to tell you he loved you any chance he got. And of course, as everybody knows, he was the funniest and he was the family comedian. Nobody could ever take that from him. If he wasn't telling a dad joke, he was faking a shoulder injury on the job just to give you a tapper. Or if you were in my shoes, he was telling you to go get the sod stretcher if we came up short on a job. Yeah, thanks Eddie, you got me on that one too. I'm so thankful I had the opportunity to grow up so close to him and absolutely honored that I'm able to call him family. He loved what he did and he was such a creative soul. I'm so glad that all it takes is a drive through this town and seeing all the work he did over the years to remember all the good times we shared landscaping as a family. Kev's passing is a reminder to all of us to hold each other close and cherish every moment we get with one another. Because as this shows, tomorrow's never promised. To my uncle, my best friend, my role model, thank you. Thank you for loving us unconditionally. Thank you for teaching me to be a hard worker and a great father. Thank you for loving me, even when I shot Casey with a BB gun. And thank you for simply being you. We will all miss you dearly, and life won't be the same without you. But I know you're up there watching over us all smiling. And I don't want you to worry about leaving us so unexpectedly, because everything will be taken to care of down here. Carrie, Casey, and the boys, everybody, we all have each other, and we will take care of each other for you. And we will never stop loving. I promise to do everything in my power to make sure they're taken care of. It's the least I can do after everything you've done for me in this lifetime. I love you, Kev. Rest easy. Thank you. I've really only got one thing to say. I usually don't talk. But they always say, you know, you can tell a man how great he is by all his friends. Look around you. You're all his friends, and he loves you all. I don't know how we are going to get through this, but 1998, summer day, a couple of Bosnian families having party. Kevin's wife, Carrie, tried to get Kevin to come and meet us. He don't want to. Nope. Don't want to meet those foreigners. We don't speak any English. My wife, she speaks a little bit. She's a translator for all of us. There's like four grown-ups, three kids. But Gary got him to come. He showed up. Since that day, we are more than friends. 
We were brothers. I never stopped being friends and brothers. I wouldn't be where I'm at right now that there wasn't Cooper family, my brother Kevin. It's amazing. That guy was just a rock for me. He was my rock. He was he was something else. Wish had beer with him last like Wednesday before that freaking Friday. We had plans for a weekend to get together. Get drunk like we always do. Have fun. Me attempting singing American song, which I never was good at. <laughs> he always pushing me to do it. Always making fun of me. I, I liked it. We all liked it. It's a. Uh, this town. It's a. Uh, it's a little less with on him. He's uh, wherever he goes. He knew everybody. He will walk in and just, boom, there's Kevin making jokes, sometimes stupid, but <laughs> hey, we all laugh. <laughs> we had to, because he, his way of saying those jokes are just incredible. I don't know, I'm gonna miss you, big guy. I'm gonna miss you so much. Thanks, Cooper family, for everything. I'm here for you guys. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. Anyone else? Raise your hand if you've ever met a cooler guy. I didn't think so. Uh, my name is Matt. I'm from Magic Valley Turfgrass, the sod farm. And um, I can say on behalf of our whole crew that sorry for all, sorry for all the other land, any other landscapers out there, but he's our favorite guy. You know, he did so much great work for us out there. He was the guy, like everybody said, you know, would just drop everything and come and help you. He'd call Esther just to share a joke. That was Coop, right? You know. We're, we're going to miss him so much. We're going to carry a, his spirit with us forever. I'll never not think of Kevin Cooper and smile. You know, he would call me if he was ordering sod, he'd say, did you water last night, Matt? <laughs> yes, we did, Kevin. I'll wait a couple days then. <laughs> uh, such a good guy and such a good brother to us all. and. Uh, I know Casey, I don't know the rest of the family, but I'll tell you what, I mean, our hearts are with you. We'll, we, will, we will forever hold that guy in the highest regard. And as I said, we'll only smile when we think of Kevin Cooper forever. So God bless you, Coop. You're the best.
Thank you all for sharing such great memories and please continue to share through the evening. Um, I'd like to thank you all for coming, all for being here for the family. We have a wonderful little bite to eat uh, from the family and some wonderful cookies from the 10th Ward uh, Relief Society. Um, there's also some, some drinks, so please help yourself. Thank you. If I could have your attention just for a moment, uh, we're going to food, so if you'll give me just a moment. Our Father in heaven, by the authority of the Melchizedek priesthood which I hold, I dedicate this spot at the ground for the final resting place for the earthly remains of Kevin Lynn Cooper. And I dedicate it as a, a spot that, of peace and calmness that we can visit and enjoy our remembrance of Kevin. Now this will be a spot for Kevin until the, at the time when his spirit will rejoin his earthly remains. And, and this I say in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs> 